I'm going to hold a blood python. Wow. Stand up, my guy. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion. Top of the morning, all you wonderful, beautiful people. How is it going with you guys today? Are you guys ready for today? Am I ready for today? Nobody knows if I'm ever really ready. Got lots of stuff we're sending off to. Oh no! <laughs> Don't look at that. Lots of stuff sending off to Patreon folks today. Got a list of things. Getting ready for the Pomona show. It is a busy, busy day. Look at my list. It's ridiculous. That's all the stuff I'm bringing. I've been adding to it again and again. If you haven't seen this, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, then you didn't get to see this, but this is our backdrop, our wonderful, beautiful backdrop. Look, it looks like I'm in my snake room. Check that out. Let's put this down. How are you today, Triple B TV interviewee? Yeah, so it's gonna be something like that. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited actually about going to the Pomona Super Show. It's gonna be a good time. But I'd like to hear a couple things from you guys. First off, if you are on Patreon and one of these folks is getting a nice letter and a sticker today, leave a comment down below and let people know in the comments how it's working out for you. Is Patreon working out for you? Is it, does it seem like a good thing? We're doing live streams now. Those have been a, little, a lot of fun actually, getting the, the more personalized live streams. Yeah, just leave a comment down below and let, let people know if, if it's worth it or if, if, if I'm just wasting your time. And then also leave a comment down below if you are going to the Pomona show. That way I can expect to see you there and you can come over and you can be part of Triple B TV and all that. Let me know. Comment down below, please. Again, lots of things to prepare, lots of things to pack. I've gotta to go to the camera shop and get some last minute camera equipment, tripod and whatnot. Um, gonna break this down, pack everything up. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna bring Halo or not. All right, before we start packing stuff, couple updates real quick. Before we get to updates, Noah Sage has informed me that he really wants to handle a blood python today on camera. So we're gonna to get to that as well. And in five, four, three, about to see some dead rats, if you want to look away. Pfft, two, one. Also feeding snakes a little later today before we head out to the show, so if you guys want to stick around to that, that'll probably be at the very end of the day. But let's take a look at clutches and see how they're doing. I usually don't bother them, but it is about time to bother the one clutch. Looking pretty good. When it gets within a couple weeks of hashing, I like to open them up and, and burp them a little bit, get a little bit of air exchange going on in there. So that was that. And the way in for the uh, contest that's been going on. I can't get Miguel to lock down to a solid time. At first we were gonna do it right before Daytona and then he decided he really wanted to drink a lot at the Pomona auction on Saturday because Phil wouldn't be very happy if he wasn't drunk and bidding on everything. I agreed that was a reasonable cause, so we, would, we could agree to change it to Friday morning, but now he can't make it there Friday morning, so we're trying to figure out when it is. Let's see if he replied yet. Nope. So I'm basically still trying to figure out what hmm means as far as a weigh-in time. I, I need to know the schedule, man. I need to know what's going on. I might just have to weigh in Friday morning without him and see where we're at. for my next trick. We're gonna see how well Halo fits into her old enclosure just for show purposes. And if it seems like she fits in here well, well, I think we'll, I think we'll bring her then. Go ahead in, you recognize this Halo? Little rummaging but I found it my old sign that says that way you know people that don't know don't get the wrong idea because this <laughs> is definitely too small for Halo to live in but it will hold her for display purposes I really want to bring her so that some of the little kids can get excited about her and even some of you guys can can meet Halo in person since she is such a, a flagship snake for us around here so looks like looks like it's going I'm gonna clean out that enclosure Halo is Coming with us. Now I just gotta find my blow up doll. Naked! Cover up. I can't believe you. I'm here all these like that. Gosh. Looks good. Looks good. 
But you can expect to see this young lovely lady with me at the show too. You can also expect to see this young lady at the Pomona show on Saturday. Am I going Saturday? Uh, are you going? To, I thought you were going to go Saturday. Uh, yeah, I guess so. No? Yeah. I just hadn't, I didn't really make a plan yet. Oh. I feel, I feel like Saturday would be the day. Okay, Mommy, Saturday would be the day. <laughs> what are you doing today, Eli? I'm doing this. And what do you know? I know. This book. What about this book? That this book had rain on it. It just had pretend rain. Are you learning anything from this book? Yeah. What are you learning? The kids are playing that and he's using his helmet. Anything else? Nope. What can we expect from you at Pomona? Oh, well I won't be pregnant this year. Yeah. So, probably have a beer and a baby in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean I might not be there too long because it's just a, like kind of a lot with the three kids. But if your mom can help out, Hold on, Eli. Um, then we can stay a little longer. And I'm hoping to find a little gift for Eli for his birthday. Maybe like an encased scorpion or something. Oh, snap. What? Oh, I thought for a second that I was on manual audio on this. I hope the audio has been working this whole time. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, let me check. Oh, my gosh. The microphone was on quiet the whole time, this whole time up until now that I've been recording all the stuff that I've been doing. I can't redo it, I'm not gonna reset up the banner and I'm just hoping, hoping that I can salvage the audio from everything I've filmed so far. Ugh! Why do I do it to myself? Oh my gosh. Ugh. I hope, I hope. Obviously, at this point, we'll know <laughs> in the video as you're watching it, but man, man, that sucks. <sighs> well, hopefully it turned out okay. Did it turn out okay? Are we good? Jay over at Prehistoric Pets is going to be having an after party on Sunday after the Pomona show. I think about 5 p.m. is when it's going to start at the Reptile Zoo in Fountain Valley. And if Jay does it like he usually does, he'll probably have pizza and drinks for everybody. So if you're not doing anything after the show, and you want to hang out with some cool folks, that's probably where I'm going to go. So, check this out. I've had this and I haven't unboxed it for the longest time, simply because, I don't know, I was waiting until I could finish the website or something, and the website, oh man, I'm hoping I can finish it in September because you can get gear there right now, but the site, I don't really drive people there too much because it's not done, so I'm not really proud of it yet. But, it does have things like this right now. All kinds of different colors of Triple B shirts. Um, different, oh man, that feels soft. Check this out. Ooh, that thing is so soft. Oh. Oh, it's the softest shirt ever. Wow. Check it out. We got red. The thing is, I'm just I'm blown away by how soft that is. It's really nice. Let's check this out. I know it's not really cold right now, but bam! Triple B TV sweatshirt. Triple B TV sweatshirt. He's got this on the back. Pfft. Dang. All kinds of good stuff in here. Oh, what about this? Boom. Triple B beanie. Triple B TV all stitched in there nice. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. Look at this one. Long sleeve baseball style shirt, Triple B TV, bam on the back. Look at these things, man. Ooh, that's sweet. Probably gonna be too warm to wear this at Pomona, but I'm gonna rock one of these things at Pomona. We got green, we got blue. Exciting stuff, guys! 
So you want to hold the blood python. Yes. Why has it got blood in its name? Because it's kind of the color of blood. Okay, so it's kind of reddish? Yeah, it's kind of reddish. Where is it? Where's that snake? Right down here. I'm going to hold a blood python. Wow. Stand up, my guy. Mommy, I want Mr. Pink. This one is a... Guys, stay over here, bro. Stay over here. Don't walk around. Don't walk around. How old is this girl? Uh, she's about three years old or so. Hold up, hold up her body too, or hold up her. She's kind of heavier her. than me when she's a, even when she's a three year old. Hold her up here. Stay, 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 stay easy, bud. Okay, there you go. Support her like that. There you go. Eh, the pythons. When girl blood pythons are free. It's uh, and five year olds are five. I got it's pretty hard. The, the, it's pretty hard for them to hold it. Let me buy ones. What do you know? I know. What about jellyfish? That there's only one kind of jellyfish in the world that's as long as a blue whale. Really? Lion's the main jellyfish. Wow, that's big. Yeah, they're the longest jellyfish in the world. That's amazing. And then mortal jellyfish. They're jellyfish that can live forever because they can go from a baby to a polyp to a grown up. And then, a baby, and then if it sees a predator, it can go back to a baby, then a pull up, then a grown up. And it could live forever unless something eats it. Wow. Those are more jellyfish are lucky that they can live forever. Oh, oh, and a jumbo octopus could dive. I'm only doing ones with tentacles. <laughs> and dump a Dumbo octopus could go deeper than any other octopus. It, I know from Wild Quest that could go all the way down to a, the, a thistle zone. The, and in the thistle zone, there's a mountain that goes all the way from the thistle zone to the midnight zone. That is high. It's like taller than Mount Everest. Hey, what? Do you know? <laughs> well, you know, Mushi Tay. <laughs> That's right. Tell hmm. your best friend. Yeah. Uh, Eli likes Mr. Pink the most. Daddy. Daddy. This morning I wanted to make breakfast just for you, but the eggs were too slippery. <laughs> I wanted to carry the groceries for just for you, but the bag broke. <laughs> I wanted to set the table just for you, but the TV was too loud. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Missy. You don't know if you want to be happy or sad. Happy or sad. <laughs> oh, happy or sad. Nobody knows. Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, what?
Well, Hillary just got home and I was about to feed the snakes and film it. I'm gonna feed the snakes. I'm just not feeling filming it tonight for some reason. Just like everything I do, if, I, if I'm not feeling it, I'm, I'm probably not gonna do it. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm just not. I hope you guys aren't too bummed out. I mean, I've done plenty of feeding videos. In fact, if you really wanna see some epic feeding videos, check out the link right here and you can, you can see one. Um, I don't know, I hope you guys aren't too bummed out that I'm not gonna film it, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. Just not feeling it, man. So, but I do hope you enjoyed the day. I had a blast today. It was <laughs> definitely a busy day, packed, and I'm really excited to get to the show and hope to see you guys there tomorrow. All right, y'all take care. Take it to my man.